here's a substantially damaged hull on a sunfish. Uh, the owner uh, left it on the beach on Lake Ontario and the storm came up while he was, uh, was away and uh, got caught up in the storm and spent some time on the rocks. So we're drawing a line around the damaged area and using a Dremel tool with this kind of wafer cutter. And I'll score the line and keep cutting around it until I finally break through the fiberglass. The nice thing is that the, the uh, wafer cutter doesn't go deep enough to cut into the uh, footwell or what some people call the tub of the sunfish. You can see the other side here is the tub. Uh, the, the, the epoxy we use is uh, Thixo from Total Boat, which is Jamestown. It mixes itself up as you squeeze it. And here's a batten that we use, uh, taking fiberglass battens from sales. You could probably order them online or find a local sales shop that has battens that you could use. Uh, once we glue those underneath in place, uh, you can pop rivet them or screw them to hold them in place. I tuck some uh, foam underneath there also to hold them until it's hardened. Um, you know, mixed up some epoxy and cloth to make the end pieces and then kind of clean them up with the Dremel tool. This is the uh, backside of the really damaged piece that I pulled out and here it is laying in place. If you turn it over you can see here that we've uh, added a lot of glass material to it. And We'll add more on the other side, but uh, its uh, strength is probably about 75% now. And fits nicely. I just have to clean it up with the Dremel tool. Um, now I'm going around and cleaning up, uh, taking away some of the material around the edge, about a half inch of, uh, of the uh, gel coat, so I can lay some glass down. I've got thick so squeezed in there right now, some expanding foam just for added measure. And placing it back into uh, into the spot and roping it down to keep the ends from popping up. They were just up a little bit, maybe about a quarter inch, and so with a little pressure, they went down right where they belonged. And didn't even have to put screws in to hold it in place. You could add screws if you had a little spot that was sticking up, and then take the screws out later. The uh, epoxy resin we use uh, was from Total Boat, Jamestown, and also thickened with West System 410 Microlite fiber, so we could fare the hull. And here it is, fared and getting close to completed. Uh, it still needs to be leveled at this point. I didn't have uh, a dowel to run down the side and to get that curve on the side of the keels, but uh, luckily I had a handle from a, from a jack handle that was uh, just the right curve and it fit in here. And here's the picture of me rolling some sandpaper around the jack handle making that inside curve. Uh, sanded down a little bit more. The whole hull is sanded and ready to paint. The side piece, I added some cloth there the same way as I did on the bottom and it's nice and structurally sound now. And here it is pretty much, this is it, sanded down ready to paint. And the paint we're going to use is Interlux Perfection and I went down and got a little bit of black to, from the local hardware store. Taped the size of the boat, it's ready to spray and the gray looked nice. It uh, matched the original color and here it is and it's uh, Here's how it looked moments later after, after the spray job was done. It turned out pretty nice.